and twice as handsome too. Where are you going? You're oh yeah, big man with the gun. Where are you? Oh yeah, big man with a gun. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. I'm cramping like a beast. Thanks. I'm sorry.
Thank you. Have a good day. Hmm. Hey, El Santo, I've finished your chores for the day. Ah, you must be the El Hombre of the hour. Good of you to finally show up. Oh, ignore this. I was just cutting up some tacos, um, yes, I do love them with a good red sauce. Now then, El Plago has suddenly found himself indisposed at the moment. So he sent me in his stead to direct you to your reward. And, uh, where will I be staying for the night? Come, let's walk and talk. Your efforts today have earned yourself in extravagant quarters. Spacious lodging, an all-night buffet, and we've even arranged for some company 
to join you in your nightly stay, which I'm sure you'll find most agreeable. Hmm, that doesn't sound too bad. Good. Now just step inside. Our paths will cross again, my friend. But until then, as we say down here below the border, au revoir. Oh, and I do hope you enjoy a nice piece of ass. Crap. Hey, quit sleeping on my floor. W watch it. It's a free country, pal. Not when you're on the grounds of my palatial estate, where you will address me by my elected title. Mayor Mike J. Huh? Oh, right. The mad cow demon guy. Didn't you used to work out of a bathroom? Dude, the world is my bathroom. <laughs> Fitting, since this place is a giant shithole. Say, uh, from your esteemed leadership position, you haven't happened to have caught sight of a stolen trailer home recently, would you? It's about yay high, vintage patina, new alternator. Uh, whatever happened to you being a giant mad cow demon? Enough! You've caused a lot of chaos for the fine voting citizens of Edenson yesterday. But I've pulled some strings and jerked off a lot of dicks to have you extradited back into the country. And that means you're going to be working for the city now. I hope not as a secretary. Nah, I've already filled her today. You see, dude, this town is on the precipice of a new wave of enlightenment. And I'm building the empire that will bring about its cultural revolution. Dare I ask what that is? The days, dude. There is no greater untapped resource than the millions of unwashed assholes in this country, and I will be the hand that washes them. Today, you will serve as the crusader that will spread the gospel of the bidet. But first, do you care to enlighten your hinder? The first one's free. Uh, no thanks. The local chapter of the white militant has been trying to indoctrinate my townspeople into their ways of the toilet paper. This heresy will not stand. Head to their compound and let the power of the bidet compel them. As I've always said, there's no better way to convert others to my beliefs than forcing it on them. I had my eye on some prime swampland in town for my third mansion, but those crotchy co-bastards swooped in first. They built their own family entertainment theme park there. Show up at the park's grand opening and give them some technical issues to worry about. We've got a sensitive diplomatic situation between the countries unfolding here. Our town's sewage system has backed up and erupted below the border. I'll need you to act as the diplomat to repair our foreign relations. Get down there and clean our shit up. If the nation's bidet revolution is going to begin in our little city, then we're going to need to reach out to the people for political support. Take this petition so we can show those fat cats what the voters really want. A bidet in every American home. You've got your jobs, dude. Now get out there and get knuckle deep. <laughs> 